Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the most essential camp items that you'll need for your camp in Fallout 76. Uh, you might know some of the plans, you might not, um, but I will show you where to get those. So let's just jump straight into it. First things first, you're going to put down your camp and we're going to run away from it and fast travel back to it to see where our spawn point is. This is where our spawn point is, so now we can lay the foundation right, right as soon as you uh, spawned in. Just so that you're not spawning far away from it. Once you've laid all your foundation down, then you can fast travel away from it just to make sure. And that is your spawn point. Now we can start building our walls and our roof. Once you get the walls and the roof in, now you've got to get into the electrical so you can have light in your camp. So you're going to put a fusion generator down, preferably off to the side, and go under uh, power connectors and put some of these babies on the side of your wall closest to it and attach the wires they can only go so far apart so you just gotta kind of play around with it attach wires as long as there's no uh, waves um, in the middle of it you should be able to connect all of it and to get it up on the roof you're just going to bring it up Come back up on top of the roof, put another connector down on top, and connect it that way. For the slanted roofs, it's a little bit tricky, but if you just play around with it a little bit, you can get it. Next, you're going to want to go on top of the roof, make sure that you get them right down the middle, and make sure they're all connected. I probably put too many power connectors down because I'm not 100% on these, but you get the drift. <laughs> Attaching the wires to each of them, and to make sure we put a light bulb up under lights and it should go on. Next you're going to want a um, cooking station. To cook all your buffs, your food buffs. And you're going to want a power armor station to craft and repair your power armor. Next, you're going to want a Tinker's Workbench, and that's good for crafting ammo. Next, you're going to want a Chemistry Workbench to smelt down your ore and make your uh, drugs, like your berry mentats. You're going to also want an Armor Bench to craft and repair your uh, armor, and a Weapon Bench to craft and repair your weapons. And you're going to also want a, a perk card machine so that you can switch your perks easily uh, if you go in between builds. Next is your uh, stash box. If you have follow first, the scrap box is great. If not, that's okay too. But it's good to have if you have follow first. 
or the uh, ammo storage, which is also a follow first. You don't have to have it, but it is good to keep your ammo in. And there's your stash box right there to carry all your other things. Next is your vendor, and usually you'd like to put it close by the doorway so that people know where it is. Now in order to get the light to go on it, you will have to attach it to the uh, electrical. So you just grab that wire at the top and attach it to the power connectors. Next is your popcorn machine, which will give you pre-war uh, food, popcorn of course. And that one also needs power, so we'll have to connect that too. So attach wire to the top of wherever your uh, power connector is. If you don't have the popcorn machine, you go over to Crater and into this building and you talk to Mortimer and trade gold bullion to get him. It used to be one of the scoreboards but now it's actually a plan you can buy with uh, 1250 uh, gold bullion. While we're out, we're gonna go over to the foundation and we're gonna pick up our farmable dirt tiles. Which if you go all the way through foundation, all the way to the back to talk to Samuel. And he'll find, you'll find the uh, Farmable tiles for 500 gold bullion. And you get gold bullion from doing the public events. Um, you'll get treasury notes. And this gold machine, press machine, uh, will give you the gold bullion in uh, exchange for the treasury notes. Next, we'll put down our dirt tiles. And you can actually put your veggies in the grass, as long as it's in the grass or the dirt, um, they will go in. But if you want to have a look at a little vegetable garden, these are cute little, not essential, but I think it's essential <laughs> item to have. Just makes it uh, easier because you can actually put them on like the second uh, level of your floor in your camp if you wanted to. Next, you're going to want a fridge. This will prevent your food from spoiling up to 50% uh, slower. And I'm going to show you the different variants that you can get for the fridge. This counts as a fridge as well. And so does the barrel or the sugar bombs uh, fridge if you did the uh, birthday challenges. And of course, from the last scoreboard, the freezer, which will prevent them from um, spoiling 100%. But if you just have a fridge, that's okay too. It still works out. Next, you're gonna want a symptomatic. And this actually will take away your diseases. You can see in the bottom right, I have a little red dot and if you go in here, it'll uh, recover you from the diseases, which will take away the negative effects. So symptomatic is always good to have at your camp. Next, you're going to want to have an ally. I usually go with Leo. Leo is one of my favorites, um, but I have him up here. Um, you just go under ally in the build menu and put him down. Make sure he's at your camp. And once you have a nap on your bed, bed is another good essential item to have at your camp. And after about 30 seconds, you will get what they call kindred spirit. It'll pop up right there and it'll give you a bonus 5% XP for three hours if you have an ally at your camp, which I will show you in the Pip-Boy. Under effects, yep, kindred spirit. Bonus XP for five, uh, 5%. 5%. Next is your Collectron. You can put down any of these. Um, I went with Fetch.
and I usually put it by the doorway just so that you, um, when you're walking into your house, you remember to collect off of it. And I'll show you what he actually collects for you. So you can collect scrap, junk, revolutionary, uh, nuclear colas, automotive parts. I usually just go with scrap or junk. And the last but not least is water. If you're not near a water source, like by a lake where your camp is down, um, or toxic water, that kind of <laughs> toxic water doesn't really count. You just want dirty water. So you can put down a well, you can put down a water pump, any kind of a water source. Today I went with the um, rainwater collector, which will give you dirty water. And yeah, that is all of the essential camp items. If I forgot something, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great day. Take care.